In an era dominated by drones, satellites, and artificial intelligence, the crude fighter jet still rules the skies with unmatched authority. Despite rapid advances in unmanned technology, there remains no substitute for the speed, adaptability, and human decision-making that a pilot brings to the cockpit. These jets are more than just aircraft. They're flying supercomputers, sensor hubs, and weapons platforms all rolled into one. Packed with cutting-edge avionics, advanced radar, and electronic warfare suites, they gather, process, and act on information in real time, making them the nerve centers of any modern air force. Air superiority is often the deciding factor in modern warfare. Control of the skies means control of the battlefield below, shaping the outcome of conflicts before ground forces even engage. Without it, ground and naval forces are left dangerously exposed to enemy attack from above, and national security hangs in the balance. The ability to project power and defend territory depends on keeping hostile aircraft at bay. The fighter jet is the tool for achieving that dominance, launching at a moment's notice to intercept threats, support troops, or strike deep behind enemy lines. The evolution of air combat has focused on speed, altitude, and above all, superior information. Today's jets are faster, stealthier, and more connected than ever before, able to outmaneuver and outthink their adversaries. The pilot who sees, targets, and fires first usually wins, driving relentless advances in stealth, radar, and missile technology. Every edge counts in the split-second world of aerial combat. Today's fighters are not just dogfighters. They're networked command centers, sharing intelligence, coordinating with allies, and striking with pinpoint precision. They operate as part of a larger digital ecosystem, multiplying their effectiveness. Enter China's J-20 Mighty Dragon and Russia's Su-57 Felon, the latest challengers to American air dominance. These next-generation fighters are designed to tip the balance of power in the skies. These jets are the pride of their nations, representing different philosophies and engineering approaches in the quest for air superiority. Each is a symbol of national ambition and technological prowess. We'll break down their designs, stealth features, and combat systems, not to pick a winner, but to understand how each nation is redefining the future of aerial warfare through unique strategies and innovations. This is the ultimate showdown between two titans of the sky, a battle not just of machines but of ideas, ambition, and the enduring legacy of the fighter jet. The J-20 Mighty Dragon is China's answer to American air power in the Pacific. Built for long-range missions it's a large twin-engine jet designed to strike far from home and challenge U.S. carrier groups. Its focus range, speed and a big internal weapons bay for stealthy long-range attacks. The Su-57 Felon is Russia's evolution of the agile Su-27, blending super maneuverability with modern stealth. It's a multi-role fighter, meant to dominate the skies and take on enemy aircraft up close or at range. The J-20 is optimized for first look, first shot engagements, prioritizing stealth and sensors over dogfighting. The Su-57 meanwhile is built for versatility, balancing stealth with extreme agility, ready for close combat if needed. These differences are clear in their shapes and missions, the J-20 is a specialist, the Su-57 a jack-of-all-trades. Each reflects its nation's unique vision of air dominance. Stealth isn't about making an aircraft truly invisible, it's about shrinking the distance at which an enemy can spot you, giving pilots a critical edge in combat. The goal is to delay detection for as long as possible, buying precious seconds or even minutes to strike first or slip away. The J-20's sharp nose, diamond-shaped wings and careful shaping make it extremely hard to detect from the front. This design is perfect for long-range ambushes, letting the J-20 approach targets head-on while staying hidden from most radars. Every angle and surface is sculpted to deflect radar waves away from enemy sensors, but the J-20's rear, especially around the engines, is less stealthy. Its canards, those small forward wings, help with agility and control, but they also reflect radar trading a bit of stealth for better maneuverability. This means the J-20 is optimized for striking first, but must be careful when disengaging or retreating. The Su-57 on the other hand takes a pragmatic approach. It's stealthy from the front where it matters most in a head-on fight but less so from other angles. This reflects a different philosophy, one that values versatility and cost-effectiveness. Its design reduces radar signature compared to older Russian jets, 
but visible sensors and simpler engine intakes mean it's not as stealthy as the F-22 or J-20. The Su-57's designers chose to accept some radar visibility in exchange for easier maintenance and lower production costs. Russia bets on stealthy enough, combining moderate stealth with powerful electronic warfare and impressive agility. The Su-57 can jam enemy radars and outmaneuver threats, relying on a mix of technology and pilot skill to survive. Both jets make trade-offs, while the J-20 leans heavily into frontal stealth for surprise attacks, the Su-57 balances stealth with cost, agility, and multi-role performance. Each reflects its nation's unique priorities and combat doctrines. Their designs reveal their priorities. China's J-20 is built for first strike dominance, aiming to hit hard before being seen, while Russia's Su-57 focuses on survivability, flexibility, and the ability to adapt to changing battlefields. In the end, stealth is just one tool in a much larger arsenal. It shapes how these jets fight, but it's their blend of technology, tactics, and pilot skill that truly decides who comes out on top. The J-20's Canard Delta wing setup gives it surprising agility for its size, especially at high speeds. This unique configuration, rarely seen on stealth fighters, allows the J-20 to pull off sharp turns and rapid climbs that would otherwise be difficult for such a large aircraft. The canards, positioned ahead of the main wings, act like extra control surfaces, giving pilots more authority over the jet's pitch and roll. Canards boost lift and maneuverability, but can compromise stealth, a trade China accepts for better performance. By prioritizing agility, the designers have made the J-20 more versatile in a dogfight, even if it means a slightly larger radar signature. This decision highlights China's willingness to balance stealth with raw aerodynamic capability. The J-20's advanced flight control system seamlessly coordinates its canards, tails, and fins for both stability and agility. This digital brain constantly adjusts control surfaces in real time, allowing the jet to remain responsive and stable even during aggressive maneuvers or sudden changes in speed. The Su-57, true to Sukhoi tradition, skips canards and uses large movable wing extensions for control at extreme angles. These extensions, combined with a blended wing body design, help the Su-57 maintain control even when flying at the edge of its aerodynamic envelope. Its real ace, three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, lets the pilot point the nose in any direction, even at low speeds. This technology gives the Su-57 unmatched agility, allowing it to outmaneuver opponents in close combat and perform dramatic post-stall maneuvers that would be impossible for most jets. This makes the Su-57 a master of post-stall maneuvers and close-in dogfights. In the hands of a skilled pilot, the Su-57 can rapidly change direction, dodge missiles, and get behind an adversary in the blink of an eye. The J-20 is built for speed and first strikes, the Su-57 is built for agility and unpredictability. Each jet is a reflection of its nation's approach to air combat, one favoring stealth and reach, the other favoring close quarters dominance. Each jet's aerodynamics reflect its combat philosophy. The J-20's sleek lines and forward canards signal a focus on intercepting threats at a distance, while the Su-57's complex control surfaces and thrust vectoring hint at a preference for dogfighting and tactical flexibility. China bets on long-range engagement, Russia prepares for a night fight in the sky. These choices shape not just how the jets look but how they fight and what their pilots train for. Both approaches have their strengths and risks. In the end, the winner may be decided not just by technology, but by how well each jet's philosophy matches the realities of modern aerial combat. Engines are the heart of any fighter and both jets have faced challenges here. Early J-20S used Russian engines, limiting performance especially supercruise. China's new WS-10C engine improved things, but the ultimate goal is the advanced WS-15 for true 5th gen power. Russia's Su-57 started with upgraded AL-41 F-1 engines, enabling thrust vectoring but not sustained supercruise. The future ISDA Li A-30 engine promises more thrust, efficiency and stealth for the Su-57. Both nations are racing to field their final engines, which will unlock the jet's full speed and range. Once equipped, both fighters should exceed Mach 2 and supercruise, crucial for modern air combat. The engine race is a test of national engineering, and a key to true fifth-generation capability. The winner may define air power for years to come. 
In modern air combat, information is everything. Sensors are as vital as engines or weapons. The J-20 boasts a large ESA radar for long-range detection, plus passive sensors and a distributed infrared system for 360-degree awareness. Its electro-optical targeting system lets it track targets by heat or visual signature, all while staying stealthy. The Su-57 sensor suite is unique, a network of ESA radars in the nose, cheeks, and wings, giving it a wide field of view. It can track enemies even while turning away, a tactical edge in a dogfight. The Su-57 also features advanced infrared search and track, missile warning, and countermeasures to blind incoming threats. Both jets blend active and passive sensors, making them formidable hunters. Their sensor fusion gives pilots a decisive edge, seeing first, shooting first. In the information age, the best sensors often win the fight. Both jets carry their main weapons internally to stay stealthy. The J-20's main bay holds up to four long-range PL-15 missiles, giving it a reach advantage in air-to-air -air combat. Side bays deploy short-range missiles quickly, minimizing exposure. The J-20 lacks an internal cannon, underscoring its focus on beyond visual range combat. The Su-57 has two main bays for long-range missiles or bombs, plus side bays for short-range missiles. It's being developed to carry hypersonic weapons, expanding its strike options. Unlike the J-20, the Su-57 has a powerful internal cannon for close combat and ground attack. The Su-57 can also carry weapons externally, sacrificing stealth for firepower when needed. Each jet's arsenal matches its doctrine. J-20 for first strikes, Su-57 for flexibility and brute force. Success isn't just about performance, it's about numbers and cost. China's J-20 program has produced over 200 jets, rapidly building a formidable fleet. The J-20 isn't for export, it's a strategic asset, tailored for China's needs and kept closely guarded. Its cost is lower than American rivals, thanks to China's industrial scale. The Su-57 story is different, plagued by delays, sanctions, and slow production, only a few dozen are in service. Russia markets the Su-57 for export but so far, no major buyers have signed on. High costs and limited production hurt its appeal abroad. The J-20's mass production gives China a clear edge in numbers. The Su-57's future depends on overcoming production hurdles and finding export partners. The J-20 and Su-57 are both cutting edge, but they're built for different wars. The J-20 is a long-range, stealthy interceptor, designed for first strikes and power projection across the Pacific. It's about speed, range, and staying hidden. China's answer to American air power. The Su-57 is a multi-role brawler, blending stealth with agility and advanced sensors for close combat. Its slow production and lack of exports are major challenges. The J-20 is a symbol of China's rise, the Su-57, of Russia's enduring fighter tradition. Their showdown isn't about which is better, but how each fits its nation's strategy and future wars. The real test, how well they integrate into their military networks and fulfill their missions,